Hey guys and gals, it's uh, Jim back here, and um, I just did an update on uh, upcoming builds I have, and one of them included the uh, new 350th scale USS Grissom from Star Trek III to search for Spock, and uh, as I mentioned in that video, that kit, it comes with the marking decals as far as your pennants, your uh, red stripes, and things like that. Um, your registry numbers, but it doesn't come with any type of uh, Aztecing decals for the different panels. So um, uh, another another thing that round two didn't do, they uh, give you the basic paint colors, which is aluminum, gunmetal, um, duck egg blue, which is uh, kind of not not really correct, and um, I believe the white. Um, but they don't give you like, uh, the, the gray color, different things like that. Also, um, they give you decal placement on the sides of the box, like they've been doing the past couple of years. But as far as, um, paint, what gets painted, what they don't really, uh, you know, other than the pictures on the box, there's really nothing on the instructions or the box sides that, um, give you what areas get painted, what and everything. So, um, basically, if you want to get an accurate uh, replica, you know, reproduction of what you see on screen, uh, something really close. Um, there's right now, that I, I don't know if round two plans on doing a decal set uh, down the line. I heard no mention of it. I know they talk about uh, they, they may be doing a light kit for this, which will include some LEDs, some fiber optics, things like that. But um, yeah, it's a little bit... Um, little bit lacking in uh you know some of the stuff that you'd expect with a uh with one of their models you know especially since it's got different uh you know ass taking and stuff like that uh you thought they would have came out with a decal set at the same time they came out with the model like they usually do um so anyway if you want to get a pretty um pretty good paint job and stuff um and another thing on the model there's no like um there's no like uh little fine lines where you would do your own masking uh things like that uh there's no recessed panel lines other than um you know the different uh side uh, side uh panels and stuff like that that get painted a solid color uh they're like little indentations and stuff but um as far as like the uh Aztecing pattern there are no no panel lines or anything whatsoever so um basically you're gonna need to get your set a uh yourself a set of uh the um the paint mess from aztec dummy lou del Ma du del maso so i thought i'd do a little uh video you know just showing you what you get so you can get a nice paint job on your model and stuff i know if you want you can build it out of box just uh you know paint it all white do, do the different color panels where they're called or, the, or the, that you see in the pictures as far as the um the blues and the aluminum colors and stuff like that on the bridge and things like that but as far as the rest of it um you know if you try to mask it yourself good luck because there's not really no good pictures of the grissom um they got pictures of the pegasus from the next generation but those uh that ship was painted slightly different colors too and everything so and it also had different markings but um so this is a rundown on the uh, paint mask for the 350 uss grissom from round two uh, first off what you get um Lou does give you a nice set of detailed instructions, kind of step by step, what to do. Um, different decals, of pay, different paint masks uh, to, to pay attention. They uh, they go on certain ways and stuff because the angles are different and all that. Um, basically, go step by step. Uh, what you do, or what you paint first, where you place the masks, things like that. Um, so they are pretty nicely detailed instructions and stuff like that. And as you can kind of see what i'm talking about some of these pictures there's like a very light gray and a white and stuff so none of that's included with the kit and none of it's marked on the kit as far as molded in detail where you can easily mask it off and uh come up with the same finished results and everything like that so um the, the pylons is for instance that uh that ladder pattern that's a that's a paint mask and everything that you lay down to paint the uh the white after you paint it gray and stuff like that um different things like that so um you know it's a very nice set um you know they're probably they're gonna probably just as much as if you ordered a set of decals if they were available but um 
if you buy this model and you're going to expect to get the same paint job you're almost going to spend uh twice the price of the model to get uh to get all the paint masks and everything like that so it is one complete set they are uh they're rhino paint masks i don't know if uh you know if the camera will pick them up but uh there you see they're like they're, they're die cut basically they are pretty sticky you know they stick where you put them and stuff like that um, it just takes time and patience and everything get everything right He gives you extra strips to mask off areas that uh, you know along the edges where, where you gotta you know paint along the edge and stuff like that So um, they are a pretty uh, extensive kit of set of paint masks, but that's what um, I thought I'd share That's what paint masks are all about uh, You can see all the different different uh, masks there and all that for the different panels and all so uh you know um i just thought i'd you know for those of you who aren't familiar with paint masks or aren't uh some people just want to build one ship from star trek and they want it to look you know pretty accurate uh this is what's going to be needed to do so um other than that uh if you guys got a hard time following his directions, he does have a couple videos. They're both of them very long. I think it's two videos. Uh, third one is just um, with a custom-made base. But he does have two videos that take you from start to finish exactly how he masked everything off, what what colors he paint used to paint it, um, the, the, the different steps of painting it and everything. They're very good videos. Uh, just type in 350 at... Um, USS Grissom, and uh, it'll pop up either uh, Lou Del Maso or um, Aztec Dummy. I don't remember which is the exact title, you know, uh, name of his YouTube channel, but uh, it'll show up there and just look for Lou Del Maso or Aztec Dummy. And it's uh, two very nice videos. He goes in great detail, step by step, how he painted everything, how he masked everything off, what he what he um, kept masks while he was painting other areas and things like that. So, yeah, I just thought I'd share this real quick for you guys that um, I know there's some guys out there that um, build model cars and other stuff, but sometimes they like to pick up a Star Trek kit and things like that. So, uh, this is definitely going to be needed if you want to get what, what the look on the boxes. And the box art shows a lot of the stuff that should be gray in a light blue um the gray is more accurate there are a couple pictures of the uh um um the grissom but not many of the studio model most of the pictures were taken after they repainted it for uh the next generation series so <coughs> excuse me other than that um another thing Round two, uh, I saw some round two news. They're coming out with an interior set for the, um, the big um, space shuttle from the original series, uh, Star Trek, the original series. Um, I know it's an expensive kit. The uh, interior set, from what I saw, is going to be the same price as the kit was. They are going to offer a new kit that comes with the interior, which will be much cheaper if you wait and buy that kit rather than buy the, the shuttle kit and the interior kit, kit separately. So um, it's like why they couldn't plan ahead and do that all at once and just offer it as a complete kit in the beginning, save us some money. I have no idea. I think round two starting to go in that direction where they, they like to pop the kit, then they'll make the decals uh, extra. And uh, a lot of these kits, you spend just as much for the decals and the extras as you do for the original kit. And, you know, model kits aren't getting any cheaper either. So, um, but anyway, I thought I'd share this with you on the paint mess, what you, what you need to get the, um, the right uh, paint job on it and stuff. It's like, it's kind of like an Aztec ink, but it's more like, you know, just different shades of whites and grays, like big panels and stuff here and there. So um that's all so i want to thank all my subscribers thanks for uh hitting the like button thanks for all the great comments you guys been leaving me thanks to all my new subscribers and like i say if you ever got any questions i do leave my email in the descriptions on each video you can get a hold of me that way and all that so um hopefully this is helpful to some of you guys that uh you know aren't sure how you're gonna go about painting the different shades on this this model but um Hopefully it's uh, it's going to be helpful to most of you guys that are interested in this kit. So till the next time, everybody, take care. Happy modeling. Stay safe out there. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye.